In this tutorial, we're going to discuss the maintenance routine of your LifeBreath HRV system. In order to get into your LifeBreath HRV system, you have two black clips on top of the unit. I need to pull up, forward, and up, and the door will drop down. Now, in the, the maintenance routine of your HRV system, it is all written right here on the core itself. If you ever get confused on what to clean and when to clean it, all you need to do is open the door and you can read it for yourself right here. First of all, what you see when you look inside your HRV, this big black box is what we call the core. And on top of the core we have two smaller dust filters. When it comes to the two smaller dust filters, it is generally recommended you want to take them out once every four months or as required to wash them. Now in order to take these two filters out, I do have to pull the core out slightly. They are held on by a retention bracket. If I want to take these filters off, pull the core out slightly, pull forward on the bracket, lift up, it will unclip off the back. I can now pull the filter out. When it comes to the two dust filters, I'm going to take the left and the right hand filter and I'm going to submerge them in a soapy solution inside your wash basin. You'd like to fill up your wash basin with lukewarm water, mild detergent. We recommend you use regular dish soap. Take the two filters and submerge them under the water for a soaking for approximately 30 to 45 minutes. When I'm finished soaking the filter, we do recommend that you rinse the filter out by running a fresh stream of water through the filter, give the filter a good shake, and then they can go back in. These filters can go in wet. They do not have to be dry to be reinstalled. What we're going to talk about next is what we call general maintenance. What you want to do in your general maintenance is you're going to clean the interior of the unit as well as the core. It is recommended that you want to do it once every six months or twice a year. I recommend for homeowners to try to get into the habit of doing it in the spring and in the fall. What you're going to do is you're going to take the two dust filters off. The core comes completely out of the unit. Again, we're going to fill up our wash basin with lukewarm water and mild detergent and I'm going to submerge the core under the water for a soaking for another 30 to 45 minutes. Just as I would with the two dust filters, when I'm done soaking the core, I'm going to rinse it out by running fresh water through each of the partitions, give the core a good shake, put everything back together and it is good to go back into the unit. However, twice a year, I have the core out and I'm now open to the system. What I would like to do at this point is take a damp cloth and give the interior of the unit a wipe. What we're doing here is we're cutting down on any dust buildup that may occur inside the system. As well, you will notice you have two clear condensation hoses that are attached to the bottom of the HRV. In order to keep the condensation hoses clean, what we would like to do is to mix a liter jug of soapy warm water and we literally pour half a liter into each side of your HRV. I have a drain pan here, I have a drain pan here. I pour half the solution there, the other half here. What we are doing is we are flushing out the line and as long as you do this maintenance routine on a regular basis you should have no problems with your HRV system. Now when it comes to reinstalling your core you will notice that you are dealing with a big bulky object at shoulder height and you're trying to line up four different points. This can be rather difficult. What I recommend you do is take the two side tracks off and place them to the side. I am now going to take the core and I'm going to line up the top track. We're going to line up the bottom track. And we're going to push the core completely into the unit. I now take my two side tracks, I line them back into place, and we're almost there. Take my two dust filters, replace them, We will now push the core completely into the unit, pushing in the two side tracks, and you're good to go for another six months. Now when it comes to maintaining your HRV, you should never have to unplug the system 
This is your kill switch here. Once I drop all the, the door down, all this lever will rise and all power has been disconnected from the unit. You are safe to put your hands in without somebody accidentally turning it on from upstairs. Close the door. Push down the clap clamps and you're good to go.